Alicia, she said, listen, you both victorious? That'd be one heck of a fight next. Your team is also inviting Amanda, Amanda Nunez to the fight. They say it could be the biggest fight in women's boxing history. So if you're victorious, do we do Alicia? Do we do Amanda Nunez afterwards? Well, I just want to rewind because when you asked Alicia that question about if she dug me, her answer wasn't incorrect, but the end, but the but the correct answer was has she well the question was has she been offered a fight with me? And the question is yes. And if she turned down a fight for whatever reason she did, she turned down the fight. But the only reason I came down to fight at 160 was because I wasn't going to be able to come undisputed at 168. It was too hard to get fights with the girls at 68. Come down to 60 was more competition, and it was what they considered to be better fighters. So that's where I came to. Um, I think Alicia Napoleon is a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? Um, to fight her, of course. Y'all already know I want to fight. I want to fight everybody. We know that. It don't matter what weight, where we at, where we got to go to fight. I want to fight. Um, just for this year, I would love to fight at the Madison Square Garden. I would love to fight in Vegas. Rather I be the main event, rather I'm the co-main. Um, I would just, like last year, I built myself up very well when I became undisputed champ. And then when I fought four times in 2018, now it being 2020, I just want to establish myself and really become one of those mainstream boxers, not just female boxers, but mainstream, like stuff that you don't see. Like what you're going to see on January 10th, stuff that you don't see. You know, me become a three-time division world champion, faster than any male or, or female fighter in history, and then fast forward into a fight with the winner of the Alicia, and I think her name was Elin. Mm -hmm. So the winner of that. And um, like I said, just broadening women's boxing, you know, making it bigger. But um, for Amanda Nunes, uh, yeah, come, come. So, because you know, you said she said she would fight me if they offer her a million dollars. Look, offer her two million. Just get her in the ring, get her in the ring with me, so they know I'm the baddest when it comes to throwing hands. Nobody can beat me in that. And as far as in my this year, I will be having my first MMA match at the end of the year. So I got a lot of stuff that I got going on. I could do it all. I'm 24. I'm young. I'm hungry. And I'll fight whoever, whenever. And I can't wait to throw some elbows in MMA. It's going to be fun.